Hey, this is uh, Elliot Wave Sage. Uh, let's do a market update. Like always, know this is financial advice. Always do what's best for you. So the market um, rallied pretty significantly today. Uh, I told you about, you know, how the my last video, the market is more like poker than chess, and that was what happened Friday. Friday, this move was just so unnatural, so fake, uh, and it reversed most of it. Uh, but but uh, there's been some other damage done. Uh, that we need to be aware of, but this gave a people what an opportunity to kind of uh, leave positions, take profit short, because I do believe we have more downside coming, as you can see here in this four. So nothing's changed. Uh, nothing's changed, right? I still have the four coming to 441, but I think what you also need to keep in the back of your mind is what I have shown here won't play out. There is also uh, a, a couple of scenarios that you need to think about as well, because we only have three up. We don't have this confirmation of five yet. So what that tells me is I have a bearish label in that's still valid. That's why I'm saying this of that is still valid where you could come up here in three waves. Right. I could force that. And then you have your uh, connector and now you have three more waves. And so if I want to call this uh, three wave move done, I could do that right here. And this four may not bounce. And if this four doesn't bounce, it could just keep going and going and going. So in the back of your mind, you know, going into um, Friday and, and on the weekend, I thought that was highly unlikely. Now I would put it as not highly unlikely, but possible. It's possible that that could happen based on what I'm seeing uh, today. And I'll show you with the big, some of the big cap tech stocks, some of the biggest, as well as the dollar index and a few other things. Uh, so you, so it went from highly unlikely to maybe it's possible, not probable, not it's going to happen, not, oh my God, this is the, this is it, but it's possible. So when it when the odds change to possible i got a little more cautious and what i want to do is either try to get a short entry in or uh you hedge or you take profit but you need to be defensive until this plays out because i doubt this is the bottom right here it's very unlikely that that's the low in four it's that is now highly unlikely this is now uh, a very very likely scenario but there is a po it's possible that the bear market rally is over in this uh, wave that we've been trying to figure out when does it come it could be now and if it is now we'll know very soon because we will blow through 433 so that's the key test was when we when we get this downside push which should happen uh this week we need to we need to see buyers step in here and if they don't and we blow through the 433 level then uh, then I think the floodgates could open uh, because then the only possibility left in the count is the bearish count. And I believe it could be a, a catastrophe. So is it worth that's the thing you got to think about as you're going into the news and you do have a news event this week that could allow something like that to happen. So a lot of, you want to be more cautious based on some things today, but but so far nothing's changed. I think the longer term forecast is still uh, you know unknown. And then if we do get this sideways action like I have here, even if you uh, miss some of this move, you'll be able to get back in here and you can trade all all in this sideways action to lower. But like I said, you still have three a connector and now three. So I, I'm sorry. Here, you could have three and a connector and three, and this, this could be labeled as corrective, even though I have it as an impulse. And so you, you, like I said, you could easily um, call that, uh, call that, you know, in, in a three, 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 and then it's, uh, then it's ready to roll uh, to the downside. Uh, so let's look at some of the stochastics. The weekly stochastic needs to break on the, on the uh, RSI. And we haven't done that yet, but we are getting close. So when the Na if the Nasdaq breaks this, then uh, the B you have to say the B is set because the Nasdaq has been following this through this whole bear market. Every time the stochastic broke, uh, the RSI broke, 
the market continued lower or or higher so it's 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 held this very pattern very well so we got to watch it we want to see it bounce here uh and make some highs but i do i do want to caution that this is uh this is something you want to keep an eye on uh, but so far everything's holding up structure uh so there's no no call in the top yet but we want to keep your eyes open now the russell is also acting uh, in a way that I did not like. Uh, so it's about to have a false breakout out of this consolidation. It, and what I worry about here is we have this massive consolidation. We broke out. We didn't get follow through. But if we were to reject back into it, I believe the, I believe it could come back and all the way retrace back down to 172 and potentially in the, either a wave two or God forbid this X is in and we go to new lows. So and you want to so right now, though, it's still supported. It's still finding dip buyers, but it does seem like a test is coming in the Russell. And if it fails this test and does not wick back up, uh, the floodgates could open. That's a warning sign. So there's some caution needed. Uh, and then the Dow. Again, I, I'm going to have it in this top end pattern. Now, this is a bearish label in that still uh, doesn't look like it's finished. Uh, but again, what if what if this is a, um, what if this five is all we need is one more high to finish five. And then I label this as an uh, as a C leg, you know, in and I could have this as C and a B and an A. So an A, B, C or something like an A, B, C. Uh, so it would be a very unorthodox. It would be like an A, uh, B, and C uh, type move. Uh, something, something to that effect uh, co coming out of it uh, here. Something like that. And you have this one, two, three, four, five out. Uh, so, do, so is it is it possible? Anything's possible, but uh, we are seeing strength. That's good. I want to see that continue. Uh, so the Dow looks okay right now, uh, just uh, but these SPY Qs are in uh, trouble. The IWM, the jury's still out. So I think these two indices show more downside is coming uh, later this week, um, some point this week. Um, the Hang Seng, you know, it's still in this too, but as you can see, we broke that low here. Breaking that low is bearish. You have a connector. So this two should extend and this two can easily break that. So this whole structure can also be three waves. So I don't really like that. So this price action made me more bearish. It didn't exist. It exists now. And we have to be careful, much more cautious. Uh, this it will be dollar strength if this plays out and we start breaking down. This is dollar strength. Uh, so these are the data points that we're look, you know, that we need to consider. Bitcoin's still holding up, but like I said, if 286 breaks, that's going to open us up to 27,000 or maybe even lower. Uh, gold, silver did not behave. It failed a breakout and it's back down. If we break 22.8, that would be very bearish. Uh, that would change the count, and this could be a massive connector that will fail, and we may go back down to lower areas. Again, dollar strength, this is worrisome, this breakdown uh, that existed, uh, that happened. I believe the GDX also broke broke a pivot today, too. Now, the dollar index is the, my biggest concern uh, because I was not happy with this rally. Like, we got this drop. This rally should have ended here. It kept going. It dropped, and now it's about to come higher, and you have this reversal pattern. And if this plays out, we should break this high at 102. And if we break that high, it negates this count. And now we'll go into a much more bearish count uh, that uh, that's possible, which should uh, make the indices uh, push, push it lower. And that means X would extend, and you would have a three-wave move, a three-wave move, and then uh, you would extend somewhere to 107.6 before you get another push down. Uh, is that's how I would look at this uh, as a bearish pattern. But today's price action in the dollar is concerning. And then the VIX behaved just like I expected. We got that pullback, but now I'm looking for a rip higher into the 20. So this should drop the market. But what if it doesn't stop and it goes to 27 or higher, which we saw in 2017, 20, at the 2018 Volmageddon? That can happen. It may not. Um, reject here so that's why it's possible not not unlikely 
given all these things, these new data points that have come in that didn't exist 24 hours ago. That's why it's important to look at your data and react. Uh, Tesla, we know, has more weakness coming. Okay, that's a concern. Apple is continuing lower. It did not find a bounce, so that negates a flat for me. So now we're in some kind of zigzag that hasn't even finished the A leg yet. So that actually looks not like the four anymore to me. That looks like now we have just three waves up. What if we have a massive expanded flat that's going to break down and break, go back to retest those lows? I think that is possible now in Apple after today's price action that we come back down like that. If that's the case and this B is set in Apple, the markets are surely going to go back uh, much lower than people expect. And you have the weekly RSI break. Uh, let's look at the um, uh, monthly and quarterly uh, still holding a massive trend line. If we break that, that will probably be uh, 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 um, absolute confirmation that we would be breaking uh, this low. This is not good price action. This looks like now the first mega cap stock that really shows that perhaps a major top is in. Uh, so keep that in mind. And also, just to keep in mind with Tesla, if we don't make a five here, this is still just a corrective move. So if we break 198, then we'll have to call that corrective. So there's some data points of caution out there. I would be really cautious, but 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 not 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 to the point where you're just going to go short like crazy and leverage but you need to be um, defensive this is a i believe it's defensive we saw some uh, small caps get obliterated today uh, qsi got obliterated and i warned that it could be ready to pull back in its way of two correction and i believe uh, that's what we got here the top in five and now we have a b wave and a c wave coming uh, so this may come back and do something like this but it really is going to be defined by how far b goes but these uh, these small cap stocks aren't doing that well. And if they all are starting to correct the cycle from the lows, like what if Palantir hit five today? It, I mean, there's a lot of room for correction. Like it doesn't have to break the low, but there's a lot of room to correct some of these stocks, even like in Unity, if this two isn't supported, there's a lot of room to correct and still hold these lows like even on robin hood well, you know this could still come back down so you have to be conservative and protect your profit these these pullbacks are getting a little too deep but i would just say for now uh caution is warranted and i would be defensive at the moment i think there is it seems likely uh that we have another push lower uh, and then the market is going to have a massive decision and one side will be proven right or wrong. And if the bears are right, we'll blow through 433 in an ultimate panic uh, using your imagination how low. And if the bulls are right, we should find support and make another high. And this should continue for the next three or four months in this top end pattern. But until we break this high, until we, um, you know, get this final move down, it's really unknown. And I believe if you're just being uh, long without hedges, you risk a lot. Uh, of, uh, of, uh, you, you're putting a lot at risk right now. Uh, get, I would have liked to seen uh, some different um, behavior in the market, and we didn't. So be more cautious is what I'm thinking. Uh, but nothing really has changed. I expected this 441 pullback. I thought um, anything steeper than that wasn't very likely. I think it's possible now. And so once you go up a, up a tick, uh, now you got to start um, protecting your capital and profit. Uh, it's not, you know, certain. I would say if for some reason the dollar index were to break higher, uh, then possible goes to, you know, I would say probable. So if the dollar index breaks 102.849 before we get, and I doubt I, before we get a big push down, then that would be a, ma a massive tell. The other is the bond market. Keep an eye on that. Uh, if this pivot breaks at 4495, that would negate this count. And that would tell me also the bottom is in in this shallow correction and two is in. And now we're heading for these levels, which I always said was the final leg in the bear market. It's just a lot sooner 
but right now the bond market isn't supporting that view, but you want to keep an eye on that if we do push higher uh, in this two year in the short term rate or the one year could you know recapture this this upper area. Uh, so keep that in mind. All right, guys, that's all I have. Good luck trading. Talk to you guys later.